Luke. Oh, it's you. What's with the serious look? Is it true your phonons are separating? Who told you that? Mew. He told me what you and the Colonel had discussed. That little... Damn it. How is your condition? Will you get better? The doctor said it was too late. No. Tear, please keep this between us. The only other one who knows is Jade. Do you intend to keep them in the dark forever? My condition won't change whether I tell them or not. There's no need to worry them. Why? Why are you doing this? If I'm going to die, I want to enjoy the time I have left. No, that's not it. I'm scared. If I tell everyone, they'll treat me differently. And every time they do, I'll be reminded that I'm going to die. Luke, you're shaking. See? I'm a coward. I'm already like this now. If the others knew, I'd never stop shaking and crying. I'd crawl into a little shell. So I figure, at least while I'm around them all, I can pretend it's going to be okay. You idiot. Yeah, no kidding. I really am. Sorry to worry you, Tear. Okay. But please, don't ever hide anything from me again. Okay. I won't. Your Grace, an emissary of the New Order of Lorelei has arrived at the castle. So, they've come. Luke, I'm going to the castle. I want you to come as well. I wonder if it'll end up with a declaration of war. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the castle. Emissary of the New Order of Lorelei. 
How will you answer Phone Master Moe's? Our kingdom of Kimlaska Land Valdir has agreed to abandon the score. Therefore, we refuse the New Order of Lorelei's proposal. Then I can take that as a declaration of war against the New Order of Lorelei. We have no desire to fight. However, know that if our land or people are threatened, we will respond in kind. Do you understand what this means, boy? Scion of Lorelei's power. In erasing the replicas at the Tower of Rem, you've brought about a new conflict. The score is a fearful thing. That's sophistry. To begin with, both of my sons are alive. Father. Is it? We both know that a score of extinction is written on the seventh phone stone. We'll build a future where people survive. We won't let you destroy the world. And we'll do the same. It's not the same. You're aiding Moe's, who persists in clinging to the score. According to your logic, you're walking the path to destruction. I have pledged my sword to one master alone. Never forget that. Van. Van is gathering his strength somewhere, isn't he? But where? Luke, I apologize for the matter of the miasma, but I was struck by the spirit of your resolve in the face of death. Not at all. We can no longer avoid conflict with the new order of Lorelei. Please come to my room later with Natalia. I believe now is the time to hold strong our hearts and reveal the truth. Your Majesty. Father? What is it? I have something to tell you about your real parents. My real mother was Nanny's daughter. Yes, Sylvia. But I presume you do not know of your father. No. Nanny left the castle before I could ask any more. Your father was a mercenary by the name of Badak. A mercenary? I see. But why tell me this now? We've learned of his whereabouts. He's alive? Yes. Natalia, be strong and listen. I feel I must tell you about your father because of the situation we now face. W what is it? Badak is now in the new order of Lorelei. What? Why? Are you sure that's correct? There's no doubt. Luke has confirmed it. He currently goes by the name of Largo, the Black Lion. It, it can't be. Natalia. Luke, this is some kind of mistake, right? Natalia, it's true. He confirmed it himself. Natalia, where are you going? I'm going to ask him myself. I can still catch him if I hurry. I refuse to accept this. After her. There's no telling what she'll do.